Hello, 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 and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, I'm going to be the first person to get this on YouTube. Uh-huh, yep. Not the millions of people who got it yesterday. <laughs> like, I care. Alright, um, so, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth-year student. Term begins on September 1st. I always have an issue with that. How does every single year start on September 1st? They do know that, like, the days, uh, the numbers would change throughout the week, uh, like, as the years go on. So this year it might be a Monday, next year it'd be a Tuesday, year after that it'd be a Wednesday. Eventually it's going to be on a Saturday, which then means you're starting class on a Sunday. That's just weird. Oh well. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. So we don't get to go to Diagon Alley. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to your unique circumstance, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elzar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term, feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. <clears throat> okay, so I get to pick a character here. I'm going to pause while I do that because that could take hours. So yes, I don't need this video to be that long. So I'll just be right back. Okay, so this is our character, Tristan Hills. I think I'm going to play on easy or normal, not easy. Sorry. You focus on story with minimal no. I'm already worried that this game is gonna be like 90% cutscenes. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, there's not really much here so far. It's just a basic create your character. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. He's not suspicious, not at all. <clears throat>
I don't know if I should skip or not. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence, I can only assume... That she had to get rid of it quickly, to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. <laughs> We playing now? No. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. G the heal. <coughs> What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yay! <clears throat>
very slow moving. Uh, one second. Here. Audio. That should be a bit better. Sorry. Uh, how do I go back? Did that actually change it? Just one second here. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Weird visual glitch there. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not <clears> been <throat> the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, I can move now. Mind your step. That barrel is pushing, or whatever that is, that pot. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for Jump. evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. <coughs> ancient magic? <coughs> yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast, new spell. Tap to perform a basic cast. Excellent. Use your camera to select an active target. Not quite sure what button that's telling me to push. Or do I just look? Hey. Right. We. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Ah, up there. Uh, uh. 
Good thing we have wands that we could use to help get that stuff, but hey, okay. We're close now, it's just ahead. Well, I, there goes all my frame rates. Killed the evil pot story. Can I move faster? We are safe from the pots. I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Uh, you, the minimap shows the surrounding with your middle. This is your current objective. Press V to hold, toggle quest objectives. Big and I have traveled via Quirky to a remote cliffside uh, in the Scottish Highlands. We need to explore the mysterious ruins. We suspect the Porky meant to lead us. Did crystallize stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this, Professor Fig? How odd! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? <clears throat> I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Interact with magic. Investigate. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Green guts. Mine's better. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. Wizarding Bank. Nailed it. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. 
the key? Mm -hmm. Will White's port key? Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. Oh, please do not be a vertigo disaster. Like, let's please skip the ride. Hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Ah, oh, you dicks. How many volts are there in green cards? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Okay. Vault so. number. <clears throat> Vault twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. He looks friendly. <laughs> Pardon me. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Oof. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. <clears throat> you just said the vault was 400 years old. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. My rich. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Steady with a wand uh, and Guided along the symbol's path to learn the spell.
Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand motion along the symbol's path. Cast Revelio. <laughs> there, I sense something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. This books. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do. Gold goblets. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I learn the most. I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. What are you doing? Where are you going? I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. You've acquired the <coughs> wand lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been spot, uh, slotted to your spell slot. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in the dark. Oh, I have. Okay, one, two, three, four. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Zap, zap, zap. They look friendly. This is gonna go well. Lumos, 
Yeah. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to put in the cut in here. Thank you all so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Um, next episode will probably be today. <laughs> Uh, please leave a comment on uh, how you think this is going to go or anything like that. And I hope to see you all again. Have a great day, everybody.